Hi. In the next few videos, I will walk you through a complete and detailed step of how to set up quiz in Moodle. Basically, there are two steps involved in setting up quiz in Moodle. The first step is to, to set up a question pool or question bank. And as part of this step, we will create question in various categories. The reason why we create categories is to uh, manage and to organize our questions so that we can find it easily when we set up our quiz. Then the next step is to add questions from question bank. So let's get started now. Okay, now I have already logged in into my online course. This is actually a dummy course which I uh, create for the training. Click turn editing on. So now we can see uh, all these symbols which means that we are ready to do uh, some editing. The quiz module can be added uh, through the add an activity drop down menu here. Okay, the quiz. But before we go ahead to create a quiz, we need to set up the test pool question or the question bank that will fit into our quiz. To begin, go to the administration block here on the left hand side and click uh, questions. So we will get this window. So as you can see, we have uh, four tabs here, question tab, categories, import and export. Basically the question tab is where we will uh, create the question bank which will store a variety of questions for which we can choose later to set up our quiz. The categories tab is where we create uh, various categories for our quiz. It's like uh, creating uh, a subfolders, different subfolders for our uh, files. The import tab is where you can import the external file. Um, for example, if you have a paper-based questions or a text-based question which uh, you save in a Word file, you can import this into Moodle. Then the export tab is uh, you can uh, use this one to export your, your, your questions to a file. Creating question categories and subcategories is a good practice. It is better than keeping all your questions in one big list in the quiz module. You can imagine a question category as a folder on your desktop computer. In Moodle, questions are stored in these categories in a similar way as your files are stored in a file system. The default category is automatically set up for us by Moodle as you can see the name of the course here. This is the top or parent category or the main folder if you like. Currently, there is no subcategories other than the top level category here because uh, we have not created one. So now, let's create the first uh, subcategory. In this example, for my dummy course, I will create a category called Food Gums oops, and Stabilizers. In the category info, you can add some description here. For now, I will leave it blank. Then you click add category here. Okay, now you can see the first category we have just added. And uh, currently, there is, uh, currently there is no question here. So you can continue to add uh, more categories. So in this example, I will add say a second category called food emulsifiers then click add category then another category called say uh, food uh, flavorings so now I have already added three categories here if you like if you click here so you can see now uh, the top category the name of the course and you just I've just added three uh, subcategories here and if you like you can add more subcategories under each 
category here. So notice that we have created uh, three categories and in each category uh, the, the number in bracket here means that we have not added any questions here. So that will be our next task. You can edit and rearrange the category as you wish by clicking uh, this symbol. For example, I want if I want to bring this uh, category to the top, I just click the arrow here. So now I have this category food comes and stabilizes as the top category. So now we have uh, our categories for the question bank to fit into. So let's begin to build the question bank by clicking the question tab here. 